Hey everybody, this is Rich Filio from Henderson, Nevada. Uh, doing another uh, YouTube video for an eBay listing. This is on the Bose 901s that you see in front of you there. These are actually the Series 6. Uh, these are actually something kind of special. These are the Concertos. Most of you know these are the uh, limited edition. They made 1,500 units from about 1990 to about 1998. That was the total run. Uh, these both have serial numbers, the six digit numbers that start with 808 and they're only like 21 numbers apart from each other so they're very very close in production. Um, I called Bose and they said basically the initial serial numbers were like 800 towards the very end of the production run in 98 they used the serial numbers 808 and so forth and so on. Um, on that little box over here right there that's the original box that that speaker came in. Uh, when I picked these up about a week ago at the estate sale, I couldn't find the other box. Um, so the right speaker over here is going to go in that box and you know it's got the packing material, you know, it's all kinds of paperwork and forms and stuff you get with these things. Um, so we're going to run through a couple of tracks. These are in great condition. I've looked them over very closely and I can't see any real discernible scratches in these things, top or bottom. Uh, the previous owner, the original owner, did not purchase the optional stands for these. He had them in a, uh, like a special alcove cut into his uh, theater that he had in his house. But we're going to run through some music here and then we'll take a closer look at them up front and go from there. So here we go. Something a little mellow here. I've actually got these, they're probably about 12 feet apart, maybe 11 or 12, and they're about 12 inches from the wall, which for a room this size, that's what the manual kind of calls for. Uh, the placement's not perfect because the left speaker is playing out into the hallway, and I apologize for that, but uh, they do have really, really good sound. Uh, let's see here, let's try something different. Let's try... Oh, this is a good song. Let's try this. This is uh, Dave Stewart. take a second to load this up, probably about 10 seconds. Sorry about that, I'm listening through Pandora and they have their little ads, they like to sneak in here on you from time to time. So that's just about over with, and here we go. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this is Dave Stewart, uh, Lily was here. Now you know I ran that up kind of high for volume because I wanted you to see the uh, air coming out of the back of those acoustic enclosures, uh, pushing those drapes around a little bit. It's kind of cool. They do produce an awful lot of air. And let's see what else we got here. Do 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 do. do. Uh, okay. Oh, here's an old goodie. I think we'll play uh, a little bit of this and then we'll go up with the camera, take a closer look at them, see how they look. Classical Gas by uh, Mason Williams. camera off the tripod and take a look at them. Yeah, let's see if I can do this without dropping my camera. There we go. That should work. 
These are in immaculate condition. Usually with most 901s, uh, I've had you know probably two dozen sets of these things. I actually have a set of the concertos upstairs I bought brand new in 94. Uh, but there's always some kind of a nick on the corner. There's always you know scratches across the front. The grills are usually in pretty poor shape. Um, the bottoms are like perfect. Like I say, I went over these things really, really close, and I could not find any defects, any problems, any scratches, the tops of these things. Um, if there's a scratch on there, I can't see it. Like I say, the backs are as good as the fronts. Yeah, let's go take a look at the other one. Well, here's the EQ. <clears throat> it's the matching EQ that comes with it. You know, all the controls, you know, work perfectly. And this is the right one. Same thing, you know. Even in direct sunlight coming through that window, I can't see any scratches on these things at all, which is really super rare. Sides are perfect, grills are perfect. These stands I have them sitting on are just some stands I had laying around just to get them up off the floor for demonstration. Like I say, these things are just like awesome, just gorgeous. That little sticker right there is yep. what comes on the 901s. That's the, um, the thing that tells you you can turn the uh, logo around if you hang them from the uh, ceilings, chains, or ropes within the. I brand new seen a set of these. Uh, oh, those the original ones that I bought right there myself. Um, there's that's the here. original one right. I actually and over copy. I copied it up here. Just made a copy. heavier paper, <laughs> not, so you had it on my cobs. I just say that's the paper and what box of the or the, um, like here right here the original box. Four numbers match speak. It says right off here, concerto. And there was a of paperwork in there too. Uh, owner's manual, ton of copy of the owner's manual, service uh, manual. Um, just tons and tons of paperwork, ad sheets, things like that. Put this back on here. There we go. And we'll play just maybe one or two more tracks, give an idea what it sounds like. But they really, they really have an awesome sound. Oh, yeah, let's try a little fresh air, a little Mannheim Steamroller. It's kind of one of my favorites. There we go. pretty fair idea how they sound, how they look. Um, you know, if you get these things and put them into your uh, music room, you know, if you got them sitting next to a $20,000 grand piano, um, the speakers will not embarrass themselves sitting next to that piano because they are in immaculate condition. They really, really are. I've had three or four sets of these over the last couple of years that I've sold on eBay. And this is by far the cleanest set. Um, mine that I have upstairs are still literally wrapped, um, you know, in the plastic they came in, aside from the front and the back. They are absolutely perfect, but these are as close as you're going to find. You know, I don't like to use the word mint because that basically says, okay, it's new in a box. It came out of the box for photographs and it's never been used. Well, that's not the case here. These things were probably made in late '97, early '98, so. They have been used, but they are in amazing condition. Uh, the 12 pictures that I'm going to have on the listing will have more detail. The drivers are in perfect shape. I mean, just, there's just no issues. They're like, they're awesome. Um, I, I already have a set, so I don't need two. That's why I'm selling them. But uh, there you have it. Like I say, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to be on eBay in probably a couple of days. And uh, go for cutter. Hope you all having a good day. And check out my other YouTube videos. You know, I, I audio appreciate you watching. Been and uh, contact. I appreciate you being matching and questions. You know, maybe through uh, the wonderful messenger. And uh, good luck again. Have a full day. And catch you later.
Thank you much. Bye-bye.